absolute morning everyone. I have been in my gym stuff all morning and somehow I haven't made it to the gym yet. I keep doing this more and more. I'm actually starting to get a little bit concerned. As a lot of you guys will know now, I need to get very fit as I'm gonna be on Strictly. And I do just wanna say on that, thank you so much for all of the support. It has been absolutely crazy. Basically, I got announced this morning and I can't believe it. I'm just so overwhelmed. To everybody that said anything nice and is ready to watch me on this journey, thank you so much. I'm gonna try not to let you down. Um, and if you wanna see the video where my family actually reacts to me getting told I'm going on Strictly, then definitely do go and check that video. It's my previous vlog. I will also link it down below. Um, but anyways, yeah, I've had my gym stuff on. Haven't quite made it to the gym yet. I have been too busy just reading all of your lovely comments and stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But anyways, it's my brother's birthday today. So that's very exciting. He is 24, which is crazy, which means even more dad jokes, which is a little bit sad because he says so many dad jokes. Um, although I'm very happy that it's his birthday. We're all gonna go and celebrate later. Um, so basically Nicole's, which is my other brother's girlfriend, Nicole's family's actually down and they're all Brazilian. So we're going to a Brazilian restaurant tonight. I've never actually been to this one. Basically there used to be another Brazilian restaurant in the exact same place in Brighton and we've been to that one, but then it shut down and now this new one's opened. So we're gonna be going there for dinner later. Today, I actually really wanna sort all of my wardrobe out because I have too many clothes. I try and give as much as my clothes as I can to charity shops and stuff. But I haven't done like a full clean out in such a long time. I think today I'm gonna try and clean out my wardrobe, but I have so many clothes that it's probably gonna take me more than a day. Well, it wouldn't if I actually did it all in a day, but I get very easily distracted. So for that reason, um, I don't know if I will get it all done today, but if I manage to do that, I'm gonna feel very productive. I'm gonna get started, I think. I think I need to tidy up my room though before I actually start cleaning stuff out. So I'm gonna clean up my bedroom and then start and then start throwing stuff out and giving it away. I'm a hoarder though when it comes to clothes. That's the only thing. Anything else can easily just like get rid of. But when it comes to clothes, I just can't do it cuz I'm like, yeah, but one day what if I go to get it and it's not there? That would be really sad. But I keep buying clothes, so I need to give some away. Speaking about clothes, I bought this top yesterday from Topshop and it is so cute. My friend Libby, if she, well, Libby, if you happen to watch this right now, doubt you are, but she would go crazy for this t-shirt. It literally just says, shake your pom-poms. And it's just a little top with a teddy bear pom and it's just adorable. I had to get it. My mum actually spotted this. She was like, Saffron, look how cute this top is. And she didn't actually think I was gonna buy it, but. I did. This is the situation of my bedroom currently. This here is clothes that I'm definitely throwing away. This little random pile that doesn't even look like a pile is clothes that I might throw away. And these are clothes that I'm definitely keeping. Look at all the hangers that I've managed to move out of my wardrobe. Normally my struggle is I never have enough hangers. Um, however, I have quite a lot now. It's really annoying. I really wish I showed you what my wardrobe looked like before because it was an absolute mess, especially the bottom of the wardrobe. Literally, it was just awful because I'm just always in a rush and I would just like end up throwing things in there. I mean, not literally throw things in there, but you know, I didn't ever have time to actually sort it out. But this is what my wardrobe looks like currently. I feel so proud. Do not know how long it's gonna stay like that. But at the moment, I actually really like it. I've just finished sorting out my wardrobe and actually the... So basically this part of my wardrobe was actually fine. I did this not that long ago. I made sure that I had thrown out or well basically given away the stuff that I wasn't wearing anymore. So this part is fine. I mean obviously it might need a little bit of a tidy up but I'm happy now this is all done. It's funny because I would absolutely love to have a walk-in wardrobe. I mean how goals is that? Um, but I just don't think I would ever be able to keep up with it. I don't know how people do it but then maybe because you've got a bigger space I don't know it might be easier to keep it tidier. I don't know. I mean, I would love to have one. I think it would be very, very, very hard to keep tidy. Uh, but you know when like people have walk-in wardrobes and they like colour coordinate every like everything. It's just crazy. I would love to be able to do that. 
I do not have time to go and do that, but you never know in the near future. Anyways, um, yes, I'm glad that I've now tidied that wardrobe, sorted that out. I just need to get a bin bag and put like all the clothes that I'm not keeping anymore um, in there. So basically I can give it away to like some charity shops and stuff. I usually ask my friends um, if there's certain bits that I think that they might like first and then I'll give it to the charity shops. But if there's like certain charity shops that you guys think that I should donate to, then do definitely let me know down in the comments be amazing because I try and give them to like different charity shops as much as I can because I'm always like throwing out bits. If there is any that means a lot to any of you guys or that you recommend then definitely let me know in the comments but I now need to sort out my room because it's messy again because I've just got clothes here there and everywhere so I'm gonna sort that out and then I am going to get ready for my brother's birthday meal. I'm actually really looking forward to it and I can't wait to see Nicole's family as well so I do need to get ready. <laughs> the pick and mix wand by Mark Hill and it's so good it's literally taken me I would say like five to seven minutes to do this maybe not even that I actually really like it but I do actually quite like the straight as well so let me know on me what you personally prefer if you prefer the really curly in the middle or what well, I mean this is kind of actually this is just wavy but like you know in the middle like the big curls that I usually have I guess I'll pop a picture or like completely straight hair because my hairdresser basically I actually got my extensions refitted this morning and he was saying to me how he really thinks I should have my hair straight more but I love these sort of curls I'm actually going to brush it out a little bit because I'm a little bit scared I don't have my hair this curly so it scares me a little bit because I'm one of those people who just like the same routine doing the same sort of thing but let me know your opinions right so makeup is on and hair is done I did actually brush it out quite a bit, but it's still a lot curlier than it normally is. My mum was like, no, you shouldn't have curled your hair. You should have kept it like it was. She actually really liked it. But I actually prefer it this curly. I think it looks quite cool. I don't know. just quite like it. Kind of gives me like sandy grease vibes. Well, when it was really curly, it did. I guess I've kind of brushed it out quite a bit now. But anyways, I'm wearing my little pom-pom t-shirt and I'm wearing a blazer and short set, like a leopard print one. Um, I've actually had my wardrobe for ages. I actually love clearing out my wardrobe because there's always things that you kind of forget that you have. So I'm wearing something that I bought probably like two years ago, but I actually really like it. How sweet is this? So my friend Byron it just sent me these in the post. As soon as he found out, he sent them, which is so kind. Thank you. I love flowers so much and I love roses. And there's also lilies in there. And funny enough, my friend Jake also sent me um, flowers in the post, which is so nice. Literally wasn't expecting it. I feel like I've got the nicest people around me and friends and family. And he also sent me like, Jake, please be quiet. White roses and yellow roses, my favorite, but also lilies. And I feel like lilies isn't really something, like a type of flower that you buy for someone. But my friend Jake also sent me flowers in the post, which is so nice. I feel like I've got the nicest like friends and family around me. And he sent me a massive bouquet of flowers flowers and they were white lilies and white roses which is so lovely so thank you so much i i promise you i'm gonna tidy my room now and then i can actually put my flowers in my bedroom just parked the car and we're about to go to the restaurant got cases present here right here we go first time trying this restaurant and i thought you just walked into the glass then there they are oh my goodness i got all over glasses <laughs> oh Here's Casey's present as well. Technically, I got him two presents, but it's basically this present and the other present is from me and from Jed. Oh, look at Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kay. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, so today. Excited. Woo. Woo. Birthday. I'm trying to give you a hug. You're really just I'm airing really just me. <laughs> no, I was trying to give you a hug. Carlo, oh, you look see? cool. <laughs> she looks so cool. She's like, I look too cool for the camera. Look at all of this good food. Yum. You might not want to open it now, Case, but here's your present. Well, don't get too excited, but it was something you asked for, so. <laughs> you need to put her in these every day. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah. She's so cute. <laughs> never been to a Brazilian restaurant before how it works is it's basically like unlimited meat so you have like cards um, and like one says green and one says red and then as soon as it's red they stop bringing over the meat and then you can just turn it back over when you want more meat again um, and then they have like a massive buffet and stuff where you can get like veg or potatoes or or even like lasagna chips there's like so much um, so you go and get this you can get unlimited this and it's like 20 pound a head pretty much most Brazilians you can get some of that a little bit cheaper as well so it is expensive, but if you eat as much as Casey, yes, then it's worth the money. What is it? Banana? banana. Oh. oh, I don't know how I feel so about that. Do you reckon I'd like it? 25 a day, sir. <laughs> 25 a day, okay. <laughs> Broccoli cheese, no way. Most places only do um most places only do cauliflower cheese. Oh <gasps> yes, it's what we always have on our roast dinner. So good. Whole oh, top just came on and done. I don't think they were. <laughs> no, that's so funny. Hello, what are you doing? <laughs> what has he just done? That's supposed to strong. It's just strictly themed <laughs> A strictly thing to. Oh, no, no, but you're watching the video. <laughs> no, it's Dad's, it's Dad's ringtone. <laughs> what is she doing? Uh, here it comes. Happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday, cake. Wait, I just said happy birthday, cake. <laughs> Look at that. Nicole, you did well. Oh, I it. You actually can't see how big this cake is. I'm actually usually a chocolate lover of cake. Like, I just, I'm just a chocoholic. But this cake is amazing. I think now it's cut, you can see more like how big it is. So big. Katie's opening present number one. Well, he knows what present number two is already, so. <laughs> You guys probably wouldn't get that excited about it. It's the only thing he asked for. <laughs> yep. I am home. I am so tired. I just showered, washed, and I am ready for bed. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and I will see you all soon. Bye.